Congratulations to Shay Shaky Burn, to Ryushi Kianari, and of course to Tommy Bridewell. And let's start with you, if we may, Tommy. Uh, for Milwaukee Yamaha, awesome ride in this second race. And you look like you were lining up to make a move yourself in those last couple of laps. Yeah, um, obviously after race one, it was, uh, you know, such, such horrible conditions. We uh, we struggled massively, you know, you know to be honest. But, um, you know, what? I knew after qualifying I had good pace in the dry. Um, starting 18th on the grid didn't help me, but it did make it more fun for sure, like, you know. So, you know, when um, when I got, got into third in, uh, in Shaking Care, we were there, you know, they were riding just nice and clean. I could have done with them just to duff each other up a little bit harder really but um, if I'm honest the one place where I felt like I ne definitely knew I could have a go was um, was where Shaky was strong and every lap he was lying in uh, queue up into the last chicane and I was thinking uh, just go now and don't wait for the last lap <laughs> but yeah I thought he would but you know um, I started losing the front you know wheel spinning a lot and uh, I just thought to be honest you know there's not much more I can do without crashing um, and it was important for the championship. Third isn't obviously where we ideally want to be, but uh, it's it's better than a DNF or, or you know or, or worse, like, you know. But um, I think we're like five points behind Josh now in the championship or something like that. So uh, it's definitely closing up, you know, and uh, you know definitely looking forward to uh, to Silverstone now. Just give us some thoughts if you want yeah. on Silverstone, Tommy. Place you like? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I'm a little bit unsure going into it, if I'm honest. Now coming into Assen. Uh, our, last year we were strong at the test we were strong and Friday we were slow you know so I, I don't know why I can't answer that to be honest in the bike was not working but so I'm, you know the, like I say the, the, the guys got it working um, so I'm a little bit unsure going into us and that we're going to be fast straight away but I have no doubt that they're uh, they're finally get it you know sorted for for the um, for the qualifying so yeah really looking forward to it congratulations on getting on the podium Tommy great to see you here and uh, Good luck for Silverstone. Thank you. Let's turn to Bill Bates, BMW's, Richie Kianari, and Keo, you led pretty much all the way, but not just for those last few hundred yards. You must have been aware Shaky was there, were you? Uh, very disappointed for <laughs> second, but uh, I think good for championship. And uh, race two, I I try every lap, you know, push out, push out, but especially beginning of race, I'm too slow lap time. Um, compared to free practice, but end of race, my laps are coming better, better, better. But then, oh, maybe uh, last five laps I try more, and then maybe I thought I thought maybe possible win, but then last five laps, Shaky tried to pass me. Oh, like oh no, not good. And then <laughs> try it more hard, and then many mistakes. Um, but. Uh, I know she, the last lap, Shaky sure tried to pass me uh, last game, but I cannot, you know, I cannot do anything. Just I tried to push hard, but uh, Shaky more strong and more fast. That's why he won. Uh, I'm not fast enough, not strong enough. Uh, try again, Silverstone. And you have, though, brought the gap down to just 12 points now between yourself and Shaky and going to Silverstone. Do you feel strong for Silverstone? I don't know, but uh, maybe. I, I try to <laughs> keep, not keep, I try to more, like, you know, push hard and try hard, but uh, maybe okay. I don't know, but... Okay, we wish you well, Keo, for Silverstone. <laughs> Thank you. Go get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the ferry. <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, that lovely ferry all the way back. Yeah. Congratulations, Kim, on another fine podium here. Two podiums for this weekend. And turning to Shaky. Shaky, is it relief or how do you feel right now? Um, pretty disappointed. <laughs> Not. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously over the moon. Um, you know. It's almost, uh, to someone as nice as Kyo, it's almost cruel to, to take a win like that. But, uh, you know, it kind of it kind of underlines my respect for, for both of these guys, you know. I knew that if I passed Kyo earlier in the race, which was possible, um, then I'd have a battle on my hands. And the chances are that it'd be him doing that to me in the last chicane. And then I'd be spewing because I lost the race. So, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a bit of a gamble. It was something that I'd looked at quite a few times. And to be honest with you, I thought Kyo was a, a bit stronger than me into the last chicane. Um, but 
The last lap came and I knew that if I was really, really close, my speed on Keo through through turn 15, he, he braked later into there, but my speed all the way through and on the exit was a bit faster. And I just I just used that, you know, I was on, on the side of his bike and I just pinned the throttle and I thought, well, you're either going to stick and grip and I'm going to pass him or I'm going to the moon. But fortunately, I uh, it stuck and it gripped and uh, yeah, I managed to get up the inside of him and you know, it's. Uh, I know how he feels because I've I've been in the situation before. I've been humped here on the last lap, and you know he led every single lap. I thought in the beginning that maybe it was just uh, just taking it a little bit easy because when I got to second, the lap time wasn't that fast, and I knew I could go faster. But then he started to have a few little moments, and I thought, well, maybe maybe this is his pace. Maybe I should go now because I could see that that Tommy was coming, but. Like I said, you know, he's so strong, and I knew that if I if I did pass him, then then I'd have a battle for the rest of the race. And uh, I figured I'd play my cards close to my chest and uh, just try and nip him on the last corner. Unfortunately, this time round, it worked out. And when you look back at the different outcomes from today's two races at Aston, how would you summarise the two different outcomes? Well, <laughs> you know, the the first one was far from ideal. Um, you know, we two weeks ago I lost a hundred and something point lead. Now I had a twenty six point or twenty seven point one. I threw it up the road in the first race after deciding, do you know what? A third's a lot better than a crash. And then pretty much the minute I had that fault I went down, off the throttle, just spun the bike around, absolutely nothing you can do in that situation. And you know, it it absolutely devastated me and uh I thought, I can't believe this, you know, something, something's got to change at some point. But um, Keo and I rode together this morning in warm-up and uh, I'd kind of, our pace was a little bit faster in warm-up this morning, but uh, I kind of knew roughly, roughly where I was strong compared to him. And yeah, fortunately it was the same in the race and uh, managed to hang on to him. Uh, when he got to the front straight away and I was in fifth or sixth or something like that, I thought, oh no, here we go, Keo's going to check out, disappear, and it's going to make it impossible to catch him. But yeah, we managed to stay on his back wheel and remain there for the for the 18 or 20 laps or whatever it was. And uh, yeah, you only have to lead over the line. And unfortunately, this time around, I did.